Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in to Pace Yourself. Today we're going to be talking about utilizing emojis in your pick list field to make it a little bit user friendly for your users. So if we head into cases, I have an example here of utilizing it as a priority field. And you can see when I click and edit lines in this list view, I can actually see that there's a, a traffic light system in front of my word for high as a priority, medium and low. So when it look, what it looks like when I create a new case, say I'm a user, I'm going to change my priority and it's super easy to know by the color system when I'm quickly adding a new case, what medium means or what high is. So high is red. So how did we do this though? So in our case here, we wanted to go into our object and edit our pick list. So if you go into your pick list field in your case object manager, we're going to go down and actually add a new one. So for instance, if we've got high, medium and low, and we want to add, or if we've got high and medium and we wanted to add low, normally you'd just type in the word. But at the beginning of it, I actually wanted to add that color. So if I use the Windows icon and this full stop, or the period, um, brings up your emoji chooser. So if I went all the way down to the end, I can actually see that there are circles and squares that represent colors. And lucky for us, they've got colors that represent traffic lights. So if I hit the green square this time, oops, that seems to have clicked twice, and utilize it as another example, I'm going to hit save. Now that you can see that you've got a, a green square next to our low. So I can't really remove it from the API name, otherwise it would be exactly the same as the previous one. But if we head back into our case and we hit refresh, you can now see there's a new emoji option next to our priority pick list. But really that's not the end of the solution. You can even utilize an emoji as a use case so perhaps it's going to be something more exciting and they're going to sell it for Christmas and then there's something even more exciting and they're going to sell it for Halloween and click save so what I'd do if I was just utilizing an emoji for to represent a pick list value I'd probably go ahead and change the API name to Christmas to know what I was talking about and then you can see that the Christmas tree represents Christmas if I'm ever referencing it as an API name. Let's go ahead and refresh our screen for making a new case and see what that looks like. Priority, medium, and I'm going to choose a Christmas tree. Absolutely amazing. Go have fun with it. Chuck in some emojis to your pick list field, guys. It really brightens everyone's days. So thank you for tuning in to Pace Yourself. This has been me, a Pacey.